now see what happens if we play G major in two octaves. We know the first octave already. And now the second octave. Here we had our first change of positions. We went from the so-called first position to the fourth position on the A string. We can do the same thing with C major too. We just omit the A string and play up the D string. The first octave, the lower octave, we know. And now we just go up the D string and omit the A string. Here we have the change to the fourth position. Notice that the first finger in the fourth position is identical with the next higher open string. A on the G string, D, and on the C string, G. We have on each string 10 half steps from the open string to the end of the fourth position. Open string, first half step, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we practice the following exercises. We start on the first half step above the open string. Use a simple pattern, 1, 2, 4, 2. And go up the string by half steps. Look. Now you put the first finger where the second was. Again. Again, 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 and again. Here we reached the so-called fourth position. For the way back we use the pattern 4, 3, 1, 3. Look. Now we put the fourth finger there where the third was. started. Now we go up the string by whole tones. We use the pattern 1, 3, 4, 3. Put the first where the third was. Again. And here we are again in our fourth position. For the way back we use And finally, we go up the string by minor thirds. One, two, three, four. And back. You should do that on all four strings and very often. Now you put your fingers on all thinkable notes up to the fourth position, the so-called fourth position. Never forget, you should always be aware of what note you are playing. To complete our first look at the left hand in neck positions, I need to mention the extended position. The closed position covers a minor third. The 
extended position covers a major third. You get to the extended position by stretching the first finger back half a step. The rest of the hand stays the same. The thumb stays there, the first finger moves back half a step. Close position, extended position, so that you have a major third. This enables us to play a lot more scales without shifting actually. For instance, D major, extended position, or A major. flat major here extended same thing with E flat major extension you should here too be aware of what notes you are playing one example D E F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, e, or B flat major, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. I experienced that the systematic clarity in the approach of cello playing helps a lot. So either ask your pupils for developing this rather intellectual clarity or work yourself on it if you don't feel 100% certain here and there. Listening is not enough. You must know your fingerboard in and out. Play a G on the D string with the third finger without looking for it. Just put the finger there, you know where it is. That is what you have to accomplish. Blind and deaf security of your left hand. Have fun with it. See you soon. Take care and